Turtles here in the studio. Royston Smith, let's start with you, if we may. Where are we at in terms of government policy pushing developers to pay, as we just heard Michael Gove saying he wants to happen in Alice's report there? We're at a, a much better place than we were of that, there's no doubt. But it's, uh, it's, it's really upsetting to think that it took so long to get there. And, you know, I've said before in the chamber, and I'll say again at any time, you know, my um, frustration is as nothing compared to people who live in a building that they now believe is unsafe. And many of them are not unsafe, and that's really important. But live in a building that they believe is unsafe that have paid money out already in waking watch and fire alarms and the rest, which is sunk and it's gone, and are being left with these huge bills. Now, the government are going to deal with the huge bills. They've made that clear. They've made a promise and a commitment that they will. They've gone after the developers who they feel are responsible and are in some way an easy target, but they are a target. They are responsible. But there are others, of course. There are regulators, both local authorities and independent inspectors, which have been allowed to regulate their own work, mark their own homework, if you like. Uh, and the government, you know, the government have responsibility for this. In the end, I think government does too much. And we're always asking the government to do more. And we're always asking for a handout when things go wrong. But in the end, things like this, protection of the people and regulation of safety in your home is the government's responsibility. So we are in a better place. But are we in a place that we all want to be yet? I don't think we are.